Everyone wants to organize their life with Notion, but nobody tells you how to organize the thing that's organizing your life. Just like our physical spaces, our digital spaces are prone to get cluttered too. And Notion is no different in that regard. But the secret to keeping your Notion clean and clutter-free is to build your workspace with intentionality. So today I'm sharing my favorite tips to help you create a structured and organized workspace. A lot of the tips for today's video are are going to stem from the sidebar. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop mine open and we are going to get started there with tip number one. And that is don't use your sidebar as storage space. Something I see a lot in Notion workspaces is that the sidebar becomes the place for all of the pages to be stored in, meaning a lot of the times this is filled with pages. And a lot of the times with my clients, I've even seen too, where this will say like view more here and you pop those open and there's a ton more pages on top of that. Now I do not recommend this strategy whatsoever because it is really difficult to remember what is even there when you can't see all of your pages over here. Now personally, even from my standpoint, I have a a lot of pages over here that I don't necessarily think should be there. I'd love to have them stored somewhere else, but I'm still kind of figuring out what that is going to look like for me right now. Now I know it gets a little bit tricky because anytime you add a new template into your workspace or you download a template or anything like that, it's going to add a new page to your private section here. And when that happens, that's a lot of the times how you end up with all of those pages hanging out there. And something I hear a lot of the times as well is that people aren't actually using those pages. They're not active pages in their workspace. So to help remedy our situation so we don't use our sidebar as our storage space, we're gonna move into tip number two, and that is to create a not in use page. I have one right here. This is essentially the place where I dump all of my pages that I am not currently using, but I don't necessarily want to delete. As you can see, if I pop this open, there is a lot of old content here. Wow, 2022, that feels like forever ago. And so that is kind of where I just stick things that I'm not gonna use and it just hangs out there. Now, if you find yourself to be one of those people who has a ton of pages here that they are not currently using, the not in use page is a very, very simple remedy for that. Highly encouraged creating one of those. Literally, you can just dump all those pages in there and you can find them very easily later. So now you might be asking, okay, what happens with all of the active pages that I am using? That brings us to tip number three, which is to nest all of your active pages in inside your dashboards. If you haven't already, create a Notion dashboard for yourself. This is an example of what mine looks like. This is where I house all of my pages right here in my dashboard. And a lot of the times I might be working out of different pages like my daily planning page, but they all live somewhere and that is not necessarily in my sidebar. This absolutely does not need to look like mine does, but the idea behind it is that this is where you're going to be actively working in your workspace so you can add all of your accompanying pages and databases here. Now, if you're new to Notion or you don't yet have a dashboard, I want to invite you to my Beginner Basics Masterclass. Inside this class, we'll be learning how to set up and customize your Notion workspace, along with getting some hands-on experience and actually building a functional and aesthetic Notion dashboard together. I'll also be sharing my personal building methods so you can skip the Notion learning curve and start building strategically right from the get-go. If that sounds like something you need, I will leave a link for you in the description box below so you can join. Now a little bit different than the not in use page, I don't necessarily recommend just throwing pages into your dashboard. You should be very strategic about the way that you set them up and you can actually make it kind of a dual use thing. So this leads me to tip number four, which is to create page storage and easy navigation all in one. What I like to do is to create a, a little navigation hub. So over here on the left-hand side of my page, this is where I store all of my pages and my databases as well as creating a little place for me to easily navigate my Notion workspace. So for me, I personally do not use the sidebar over here as navigation very often. I use my little navigation bar that I have at the top 
and the ones that I create here on the side that hold all of my pages because it's really easy for me to get around my workspace without having to open my sidebar or anything like that. I can easily find the pages that I'm looking for. Now what's also super nice about this is it's really mobile friendly. So this is designed so that I can easily get to my top pages over here. So these are the ones I go to a lot from my phone. It's the first thing that shows up on my page when I open it and then it also always is going to look at your left hand side column first. So the things that you have sitting over here are going to be top of mind when you go to scroll on your phone. So again, super easy for navigation there because the sidebar is not really a thing on your phone. Uh, so this is a lot easier to navigate as well. Another reason that I love this so much is that this is where I also store my source databases. And that means those are the original databases. I do not want to delete them on accident. So I know if they're in here that they're probably the originals. Now I do want to point out that this is not all inclusive of all of the pages within my Notion. What I like to do is I like to consider the context of the page and what I am most likely to want to navigate to from this specific page. So for example, if I come down into my meal planning page and I pop it into there, you can see I have another little navigation that is only meal planning specific pages. This helps keep my main navigation bar a little bit more clean. Obviously there's still a lot going on here, but this is where we get into that nesting a little bit more. So you are adding the pages inside other pages where it makes the most sense for them to live. And that way you also know where everything is located. No more kind of fishing around trying to find things in the little sidebar over here, looking for specific pages. You'll know exactly where to find the things that you are looking for in your workspace. And that's gonna lead me into tip number five, which is to make sure everything has a home. And this does not necessarily just apply to pages or databases. These could be just random notes that you have no idea where to put and you don't wanna necessarily drop them here into your dashboard. So if I were to just put random notes into my dashboard here, I'd probably drop down here and then just start typing, but that's not really efficient because I'm never gonna remember that that's where I started typing those notes at. I like to think of this principle as kind of like a little housekeeping trick that I've heard before that everything in your house should have a home, a place to live. And so that's how I feel about your Notion space as well. And so so this is really going to start helping you capture those random things that are coming in that you have no idea where to put them. If you have random notes that you just need to drop in somewhere, you should have a random thoughts database. This is something I do personally have. I kind of use it as a replacement to my notes app on my phone. Instead of going there, I'll just come here and I will create a new random note that I can just drop in this database. And what's super nice about this is I have a little status here of things that I do need to keep and hold on to or if I need to go back and review it later I will note that to myself so I can come back and actually take a look at what it was that I had written down. So this does not only apply to random thoughts. Think ahead a little bit of things that you know that you will need in the future and create databases based on that. So kind of like we talked about earlier where when you get a brand new template in Notion it ends up in your sidebar over here Perhaps if you find yourself downloading a lot of templates, you should have a database for all the templates that you have downloaded. So when you get a new one, you can just drop it in there and you will know where they all live. This also applies to things like course notes. I personally have a little spot for course notes as well, books that you're reading, tasks that you need to do, have a place to put these things so that they don't just end up somewhere random in your Notion space. Trust me, this little tip will save you so much time and effort in looking for all of your stuff within your Notion. Hopefully this video gave you some tangible tips to start implementing today to help clean up your Notion workspace. And if it did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you're still feeling a little bit lost and you're not sure where to start, be sure to join me for the Beginner Basics Masterclass so you you can have a solid foundation to start creating on. You can find the link to register down below. Now my fellow Notion nerds may have noticed that Notion has been releasing a lot of updates lately. So in my next video, I'm going to be sharing some of the Notion features that I have been obsessed with lately. And some of them you may know about, some of them might be new to you. So be sure to subscribe so you stay in the know. Until then, if you want to dive even deeper into creating a solid structure for your Notion workspace, 
Be sure to watch this video next all about my top tips and tricks on how to use Notion for your mobile app. I will see you in the next one.